I'm just testing the new Hagen plus VEO integration. Hope that didn't scare you away just yet. Hagen AI just changed the video industry forever. That's because you can now clone yourself using AI and use your clone in any scene using the Google's latest VEO 3.1 model. This gives you a perfect character consistency across every generation. And in this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to start using VEO 3.1 inside Hagen and what kinds of results you can actually expect from it at this stage. Already so, if you want to try the VEO3 on Hagen, first you need to create an AI avatar for yourself so that the AI knows what you look like as you talk. If you already have done this in the past, just feel free to skip ahead. I have left the time uh, stamps in the description of the video. But if you're new to this, let me show you quickly how this works. So first of all, sign up to Hagen. You can find a free trial link in the description too. Then hit avatars over here and click start from a video. And here the tool asks asks you to submit a short two to five minute video of yourself talking in front of a camera. This one should be two to five minutes of length, unedited footage with professional camera or smartphone. Remember to look ahead and keep yourself as stationary and as level as possible. And then do a small one to two second pause between each sentence with your lips closed. And then just sit, stand or walk while engaging naturally with the camera. So just be yourself basically. And um, then once you have understood these instructions, let's hit next. So just an example, here is a short clip where I am talking for the AI avatar generator. This is my Hagen AI avatar training video. In this video, I will be talking about random things over here. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I look a bit tired in that clip, but I just want to get this out as soon as possible. So I just woke up and started recording this almost right off the bat, so yeah. But yeah, now all you need to do is just drag and drop the video into this view. And for example, for me, it did not accept .mov, so I actually had to bring it to my editor and export it out as an MP4 file. But now it seems to work finally. So now all we need to do is just hit next. And now you need to give a permission for Hagen to create this avatar for you. So if you have done this before, you're going to see your avatar already over here. So you can just click on that so you don't need to consent again. But if you don't have this, you have to click here on new avatar and then hit next. And then the tool basically asks you to just read out a short sentence in front of a camera and click accept. And once you have done that, Hagen starts to review your footage and it will start to create your AI avatar. And then once you hit submit, it says that your avatar look is being created. And then just hit done. And here you're going to see the progress bar. So it is actually pretty quick. It has already done like 67% of my avatar, even though I just submitted it like three or four minutes ago. And it ended up taking about 10 minutes, but here is my AI avatar number two. Hey, Arturi Jali, your digital twin is ready. Try creating videos with it. Hola, Arturi Jali, tu digital twin está listo. Intenta crear videos con él. Además, haz clic en el botón de comentarios para compartir lo que piensas. Espero que lo disfrutes. And now once you have trained your AI avatar, you can use VEO 3.1 on it. So just head back to the homepage of Hagen where you can access the VEO 3.1 model here on the top right corner and then choose your avatar from the list. So here's the previous one and here is the new one. And obviously if you don't wanna train your own avatar, you can test this with these publicly available avatars, but I like mine so I will be using that now that we just created it. And then just let's hit next add prompt. And now here's where you need to describe the scene as well as what your AI avatar is saying in the scene. So here I have typed in something like this, actions, then followed by this man walks confidently into the studio through the wall and the wall crashes as he does so. Some parts of the crashed wall pieces burn as they fly out. There is a big hole left in the wall and you can see the surface of Mars behind it. That is, sounds at least something I want to see whether this is able to pull off or not. And then the dialogue, so this man says, Hey, this is me testing Hage and VEO 3.1 integration. I hope this video doesn't scare you away because it did that to me already. And now all we need to do is just hit generate. And after just two minutes, here is the video that it created for me. 
Hey, this is me testing HeyGen plus VO 3.1 integration. I hope this video doesn't scare you away because it did that to me already. Okay, so <laughs> that is pretty cool, but there are some issues. First and foremost, I'm not walking into the studio through the wall as I asked. And then secondly, the mouth movement and the lip movement doesn't look exactly like me. So this time I'm trying something pretty much the same, but with a slightly different prompt. So a man runs into the studio through the wall, which explodes into pieces as he does, leaving massive hole behind where one can see the surface of the Mars. And then once again, we're going to use pretty much the same dialogue. So, hey, it is me testing Hagen plus VEO 3.1 integration again. So let's try to see what happens this time. Hey, this is me testing Hagen plus VEO 3.1 integration again. Hope I didn't scare you away with it. Well, I don't know. It once again doesn't quite look like me. You can clearly see that it resembles me, but it's not perfect. And also, I did not run through the wall, which is a bit of a disappointment here. So um, let's let's see what we can do with it. So let's try another one. So now I'm going to do a man walking casually in the studio where meteors fly across the room. The man remains unfazed and just continues his speech. And then I tell the AI to create a dialogue of the state of the art in AI video generation is wild. I couldn't have believed this stuff like two years ago. And now let's hit generate again. Okay, so let's see the result for that. The state of the art in AI video generation is wild. I couldn't have believed stuff like this two years ago. Okay, 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 okay. That, that wasn't good at all. You could have done stuff like this with Adobe After Effects like 10 years ago. And also this explosion at the end is like completely random. And also there seems to be an issue with a media player. And here is the last video I created. This is me casually in my new studio. I didn't expect it to have all these little friends here, though. <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty decent. It actually looks somewhat realistic, although I still have a big problem with my face. So I don't look like this at all when I'm smiling or when I'm speaking. So yes, you can clearly tell that it's me. And I don't know why these issues keep on coming. You can clearly tell that it's me, but it is not 100% perfect. So um, based on the demo video that I saw yesterday posted by Heijen, I was expecting way more than this. And something I also noticed is that you only have five scene generations available, even if you have a paid plan so i bought the basic 25 dollar plan and i still had five scene generations and i think that you can actually have these for free as well here so right now agents probably just losing money as you try this model and because they just implemented it yesterday as the model came out it is in an early access mode and that's why you can't do any customizations you can't do any edits on it it looks unrealistic it doesn't look like um, it's that good as the demonstration showed. So let's give the team the benefit of the doubt and let's hope this gets a lot better in the next couple of weeks.